What's up guys, Joe from Joe's Golden Garage. Got a 2001 Honda Accord EX with the V6 to bring to you. We picked this up at the auction a couple of weeks ago. And man, it had this whole front bumper duct taped on. And I ripped all that duct tape off and had the gooby gone because it had been on there for years and put one screw in right there. Now it's staying on. I don't know why the previous owner couldn't figure that out. But a $1,500 car here, folks, but the interior is beautiful. The roof's a little toasty. A little toasty. But the rest of the paint's pretty good. Got a new set of Cooper tires. Look how clean that is. I mean, clean. We got the sun working with us this morning here. <laughs> or against us. Let's take her for a ride. She does have a couple of warning lights. Typical of one this age. But this was a one owner car, y'all. Beautiful. We got an engine, check engine light for an O2 sensor. And the uh, traction control light comes on periodically. But it's got the coldest flipping AC I've ever experienced. It is so cold. <laughs> uh, leather, not trashed. Can you believe it? All these. By this time and this age, these seats are the shreds. And the driver's seat looks just like that one. This car was well kept. Um, 278,947. And like I said, this was a cheap car. Nobody, it got a few bids because people could see past the duct tape and the key was to get out there and test drive it first. You know, if anybody was bidding on it that hadn't test drove it, they wouldn't have wanted to bid on it. But this thing's a little darling. I mean, I mean, you know, Honda V6 that's been well maintained. I mean, a darling. Got good power, great brakes, cold ass AC. And actually, this transmission shifts pretty good to be. I have a hard time believing this transmission is original. <laughs> I really would. Because I know this four-speed automatic would sometimes uh, burn out on these V6 models. Um, they'd start slipping and banging into gears pretty good. And this one just is velvety smooth. And with 278,000 miles, it surely has been replaced i didn't see it on the carfax though and it has a pretty good carfax uh, lots of service history on there timing belt was replaced about oh gosh it's around 60,000 miles ago uh, so it will be due sooner than later i think honda recommends about every 90 or 95k on these for water pump timing belt but hey, we're just talking about somebody needing a cheap A to B car with cold AC. Man, this would be hard to beat. She is so smooth. Got good shocks and struts. Yeah, it takes the bumps better than my mom's Lexus right now. Her struts are so shot. Ooh, but we're on on a four week wait on those struts there's that TCS light up there at the top I guess that means traction control so we do have a couple of warning lights that we'll need to at least the check engine light we'll need to address because uh, Chattanooga Tennessee is a emissions county but get this now this is weird ever heard of a city or state doing this I think it's 40 days they're ending their emissions testing. 
no more emissions required in Chattanooga, period, for any car. Now, is that not crazy? Um, maybe, you know, most cars today are, you know, running better and putting out less pollutants and they realize it costs more money to keep it going than it's worth. I don't know. Who knows? But it is ending. So, in about 40 days, a little over a month, it isn't going to make a difference if this car has a check engine light or not here in Chattanooga. And Chattanooga, of course, is very close to the Georgia line in all of North Georgia. Uh, anything north of Atlanta is uh, emissions exempt. So you don't have to worry about emissions in North Georgia. So this car could pretty much be sold with a check engine light in a broad area. And again, the check engine lights for an O2 sensor, O2 sensors are so simple. So we, we'll probably, uh, you know, I, I'll crawl under there and throw a couple on there. And we'll see if we can't get to the bottom of this little problem. <clears throat> but what a neat car. Just a neat car. For the money. I was really torn uh, between this car and uh, the Impala the police Impala I bought uh, this car is certainly more luxurious but it has you know a hundred and ten thousand more miles and I have a timing belt to worry about the Impala is pretty much just you know turnkey ready to go it's just kind of ugly it it is ugly <laughs> But I always wanted to try one, so let's give let's give one a shot. <laughs> uh, we'll run up the interstate and exit here. See what we got. Temperature runs, you know, she runs nice and cool. Engine is just smooth as silk. of life. I'm going to try to keep this one a little briefer than my 20 minute Impala video. I don't know. I may come back and buy this car in the end after all. I just don't know. Where's my arrow? Okay. Go, guy. <clears throat> Man, this thing is nice. this car. 
what to do what to do <laughs> well guys i'll keep this one shorter than the uh the impala the 20 minute impala video if you like this kind of stuff please subscribe it helps the channel and helps me continue to buy crazy junky ass cars from the auction <laughs> so uh hit that like button turn on the bell for notifications and please comment uh, i respond to all comments i really appreciate it guys uh channel keeps growing a little by little add a few new guys subs every day so i appreciate that uh, coming to you live from Chattanooga, Tennessee. This is Joe at Joe's Golden Garage. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace. I didn't want to forget an engine shot. Listen to how good this car runs. Pushing 300k, man. Almost to 280. Isn't that nuts? I need a little power steering fluid. I see that. I may go top her off. I may check all the fluids actually on this car before I take off. I gotta get that home. Man, it runs like a champ. Thanks for watching. See ya.